We have never seen anything like this before is not just a catchy phrase, but a reflection of the extraordinary events that have been unfolding around us. Indeed, the world has never seen anything like this before. Let's take a moment to acknowledge the gravity of the situation. We are not talking about events spanning an entire year. No, I will focus solely on the last few months. So much has happened in this short span that the world is reeling, struggling to catch its breath. It is one thing after another, after another, after another. Truly, we have never seen anything like this before. In our own nation, the United States of America, we have witnessed a tremendous upheaval. A former president, now a presidential candidate, has attended court in an election year. This alone would be enough to shake the foundations of any democracy, but it is just the beginning. There was an assassination attempt on Donald Trump, an act that sent shockwaves throughout the country. Adding to the chaos, President Joe Biden announced his withdrawal from the 2024 presidential race, endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris as his preferred successor. The events unfolding this year are so dramatic that it feels like we are watching a TV series. But it is real life, and we are all the characters. With several months still to go until the presidential election, it is evident that much more is yet to happen. We can expect significant developments and major events to continue shaping the year. In all my years, I have never seen our nation more divided than it is right now. More than 160 years after the Civil War began, Nearly half of Americans believe it is either very likely or likely that they will witness a second civil war. That is how divided this nation is. We have never seen anything like this before. On the economic front, the world is facing a financial crisis of epic proportions. From July 17, 2024 to August 7, 2024, the stock market experienced a $6.4 trillion wipeout leaving traders fearing that the great unwind is just beginning. There are falling knives everywhere, one analyst says. Recession looms large. We are teetering on the brink of something enormous, with escalating tensions in the Middle East pushing Israel and Iran to the verge of war. We are on the brink of something pretty large. We have never seen anything like this before. It feels as if so many major events are converging together all at the same time, the geopolitical landscape is also shifting dramatically. The BRICS nations alliance has expanded, with Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, and the UAE becoming members on January 1st. The end of the petrodollar agreement has sparked fears regarding the strength of the US dollar. Around the globe, riots and protests are erupting. From the United Kingdom to Nigeria, from Bangladesh to countless other nations, the world is in turmoil. If it's not one thing, it's another, one event after another. And the events I have detailed here are only scratching the surface of what has transpired this year. We have never seen anything like this before. The pace of change in technology is staggering, with Elon Musk's company Neuralink leading a revolutionary breakthrough. If successful, their advancements could dramatically transform our world, potentially surpassing the impact of the internet or the personal computer. Neuralink aims to create brain-machine interfaces enabling humans to connect directly with computers. Imagine having the power of the internet or an AI like ChatGPT instantly accessible in your brain. We are only in the infancy of this technology. But what if they succeed? What if a time comes when people implant microchips in their brains and become 10 or even 100 times more productive? What if they can triple or quadruple their income and salary because of this brain chip? It may sound like science fiction, but as this technology becomes more mainstream, more and more people will be willing to take this leap as they see those around them succeed. We have never seen anything like this before. Natural disasters, too, have taken a toll like never before. Consider the catastrophic wildfires in Canada, raging across vast swaths of forest, displacing thousands and affecting air quality across North America. The recent unprecedented floods in Europe from the UK to Germany have left entire communities underwater, causing widespread devastation. We have never seen anything like this before. In the past few months alone, we have seen record-breaking heat waves in the United States and Europe, devastating hurricanes in the Atlantic, and catastrophic typhoons in the Pacific. 
The global climate crisis is no longer a distant threat. It is a present reality. Is God alerting the world are these event signs of the times? We have never seen anything like this before. As we stand at this crossroads of history, it is crucial to recognize the significance of these events. They are not isolated incidents, but part of a larger pattern of change and upheaval that is sweeping across the globe. We are living in a time of rapid transformation, where the old certainties are being challenged and new possibilities are emerging. It is natural to feel overwhelmed by the magnitude of these changes. The world is moving at a pace that can be difficult to comprehend, let alone keep up with. But in the midst of this whirlwind, it is important to stay grounded and focused. We must remember that we are not alone in facing these challenges. We have each other, and we have our faith to guide us through these turbulent times. Now my message for you today is, do not be distracted by all the events happening and transpiring. Do not be distracted by how much the world is changing around you. Do not be distracted by the moving of history around you. Do not be distracted by the headlines and the historic events happening all around you. It wouldn't be a stretch to say that more and more historic events will happen this year, but I want to implore you, I want to plead with you, do not be distracted. There is something more important that I want you to focus on, something more important than the presidential election happening later this year. There is something more important than all the chaos happening in the world, and that one thing is your soul. You see, ladies and gentlemen, although all these events are happening around us and we're witnessing the passage of time, the movement of history, and the last days themselves, your soul is what truly matters. Where are you going to go when you die? It's easy to be distracted by world news. It's easy to watch one video after another about politics while being distracted. It's easy to be distracted by the cares and concerns of this life. It's easy to be distracted by putting food on the table, going to work and going to school. It's easy to be distracted by just trying to keep your head above water with the cares and concerns of this life. So much is happening around us and it is tremendously easy to be distracted. But today I want to point you back to what truly matters and that is your soul. Do you know where your soul is going when you leave this world? I would go as far as to say that the vast majority of people are intentionally distracted. They do not want to think about the most certain thing that will happen in their life. They avoid considering the one thing that is guaranteed to occur, the inevitability of their own mortality. This is something that will happen with 100% certainty. Reaching retirement is not guaranteed. Reaching November 2024 and witnessing the presidential election is not guaranteed. Seeing your stock portfolio recover is not guaranteed. In all honesty, the next 10 minutes are not guaranteed for anyone. This perspective should reveal what truly matters and what your true priority should be. All the other things happening in this world in the grand scheme of your life are nothing more than distractions. At the end of the day, what truly matters is where your soul is going when you leave this world. That is guaranteed. It is an inevitability that your soul will leave this world. Where is it going? Many people bury their heads in the sand and allow themselves to focus on everything else, but the most inevitable thing in their life, that they won't always be on this earth. I think people willfully allow themselves to be distracted by things that truly don't matter. Why, preacher? Why do people allow themselves to be distracted? That is an excellent question. They allow themselves to be distracted because their conscience tells them that they have offended a holy personal God. Therefore, their conscience is telling them that they are condemned by an infinite, eternal person. That is why people allow themselves to be distracted from the inevitable. Who wants to hear that an infinite God is angry with them? Who wants to hear that a God who sees all, knows all, and records all will one day judge them? Who wants to hear that they cannot escape from a God under whose condemnation they live and will die? Now just very quick, if it's your first time here on my channel, I would appreciate if you would like the video so that you can help me to continue spreading Christian messages. Subscribe and also click that notification bell so you won't miss any of the next videos that are uploaded every day. Alright, let's keep rolling. Who wants to hear that the guardian they have neglected and forsaken will one day judge them? Who wants to hear that they are a condemned sinner? Who wants to hear that having been created by an infinite God, they will never cease to exist? 
Who wants to hear that the punishment they must undertake is eternal and everlasting because it is an infinite God they have offended? Death is what we all fear most, yet people allow themselves to be distracted from what truly matters. This distraction comes in many forms, entertainment, work, social media, and even seemingly benign hobbies. People immerse themselves in these activities to avoid facing the profound truth about their spiritual condition. They fill their lives with noise and busyness to drown out the still small voice of their conscience. This avoidance is not just about ignoring guilt, it's about escaping the uncomfortable reality of their spiritual state. The idea that there is a divine judgment awaiting them is so overwhelming that they choose to distract themselves with anything that can occupy their minds and hearts. Moreover, our society reinforces this distraction. We are constantly bombarded with advertisements, news and entertainment that demand our attention and keep us from reflecting on deeper issues. This societal pressure to stay engaged with the world around us can make it even harder to focus on spiritual matters. It's no wonder that many people feel disconnected from their inner selves and the bigger picture of their existence. But this avoidance has consequences. By not confronting the reality of their spiritual state, people miss the opportunity to seek reconciliation and peace with God. They forfeit the chance to address the root of their inner turmoil and find true fulfillment. Instead of experiencing the profound peace that comes from being in right relationship with their Creator, they live with an underlying sense of unrest and fear. The distractions may offer temporary relief, but they cannot provide lasting peace. Only by facing the reality of their spiritual condition and seeking forgiveness can they find true and lasting peace. This requires a willingness to listen to their conscience, to acknowledge their shortcomings, and to seek the grace that is available to them. In the end, the choice is clear. Continue living in distraction and denial, or face the truth and find the peace and purpose that come from a right relationship with God. This is not an easy path but it is the path that leads to true fulfillment and eternal joy. It is the path that every soul must eventually consider, for the distractions of this world will one day fade away, and what will remain is the reality of our spiritual state. So while it's easy to be distracted by world news, politics, daily responsibilities, and life's challenges, remember what truly matters. Your soul's destiny is paramount. But I urge you to consider where your soul will go when you leave this world. While it's tempting to get caught up in the cares and concerns of this life, remember that your soul's destiny is what truly matters. Do you know where your soul is going when you leave this world? Focus on this crucial question and seek the answers that bring you peace and clarity. Some people are skeptical about the idea that we are living in the last days. They scoff at the notion, pointing out that Christians have been proclaiming this message for thousands of years. Yet the world has continued as it always has. This skepticism is not new. It was even present in the early days of Christianity. In 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 to 4, the Apostle Peter warned that in the last days, scoffers would come, following their own sinful desires and saying, where, where is the promise of his coming? For ever since the fathers fell asleep, all things are continuing as they were from the beginning of creation. This attitude persists today with many dismissing the urgency of the message and assuming they have all the time in the world. However, this skepticism is based on a misunderstanding of the nature of God's promises and the human condition. Yes, Christians have been saying that we are living in the last days for centuries, but this does not invalidate the message. God's timing is not our timing. The Bible tells us that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 8. What seems like a delay to us is actually a demonstration of God's patience, not wanting anyone to perish, but everyone to come to repentance. 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. Let's entertain the possibility that Jesus' return is still over 1,000 years away. Even if this is the case, it does not change the reality that each of us has a limited time on this earth. The certainty of our mortality means that we will sooner than we can imagine stand before him and be judged. Whether Jesus returns in our lifetime or not, our personal last day could be just around the corner. The brevity 
and unpredictability of life should compel us to take the message seriously. Consider the countless people who thought they had all the time in the world, only to have their lives cut short unexpectedly. Accidents, illnesses, and unforeseen circumstances remind us daily of our mortality. James 4.14 aptly states, What is your life? You are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Our time on earth is fleeting, and none of us knows when we will face our Creator. This truth should lead us to reflect on the state of our souls and our readiness to meet Him. Furthermore, the scoffer's argument fails to consider the signs of the times. While it's true that previous generations have seen significant events and believed they were in the last days, the convergence of global events today is unprecedented. The technological advancements, geopolitical shifts, natural disasters, and moral decline we are witnessing align closely with biblical prophecies about the end times. This does not mean we can predict the exact time of Jesus' return, but it should make us aware of the increasing urgency of the message. Even if the end of the world as we know it is not imminent, the end of our individual lives is a certainty. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27 reminds us, And just as it is appointed for man to die once, and after that comes judgment, we will each face judgment one way or another, and the outcome of that judgment depends on the state of our souls. Are we prepared to meet God? Have we accepted His offer of salvation through Jesus Christ? These are the questions we must grapple with, regardless of when the last days might be. Ignoring the reality of our mortality and the certainty of judgment is a dangerous form of self-deception. The distractions of this world can easily lead us to neglect the most important aspect of our existence, our relationship with God. The urgency of this message is not diminished by the passage of time. If anything, it is amplified by the inevitability of our encounter with our Creator. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.